Thank you very much. Hello. That's right, another Scottish person. Can I... They just basically said, who doesn't give a fuck about watching an England game? That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice to be here. Where's the Chicago guy? Yourself, man. How are you struggling with this section? A lot, I assume, with this <laughs> accent. Have you understood anything so far? Bro, your accent's a foreign language, man. I got it. Like... <laughs> Cheers, man. But the thing is, I get it all the time. You get it all the time. Uh, well, we do know about it in Scotland, right? Like, I'm aware. Everyone in Scotland is aware, right? That for, for not just you, but for, for a lot of you, that our accent is difficult to understand, which is why Scottish people so often resort to the universal language of violence. <laughs> See, whenever we hear someone going, sorry, you didn't quite catch that there, and you're like, don't worry, pal, I'm about to make this very fucking clear for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's nice to be here. Uh, I drove here this evening. I drove here in my new car. Recently got a new car. Thank you. I say it's new. I mean, it's a 1999 Renault Clio, right? But it's new. It's new to me. I, I bought it recently. Bought it off a of Gumtree. Give me a cheer if you've ever bought something off Gumtree. Give me a cheer if you've ever been happy with that purchase. <laughs> Not so much. What did you buy off country? A dog. <laughs> How did they sort out the post and packaging for that? <laughs> Just turns up dead. We forgot to put some holes in the box. Fuck. A dog. How much did you pay for the dog? A thousand pounds. That is how much I paid for my car. <laughs> <laughs> and is, is the dog still okay? Was it a good deal? No, it's fine. It had spine out of the... Fuck's sake. You've got to be, I mean, you've got to be careful because I had a similar thing, as I say. My, my car, I bought my car for £1,000 as well, right? And the guy that sold me my car, he's, he's quite a dodgy character, which I should have known because that was his username, right? But... <laughs> What happened is when I went to have a look at the car, he kept showing me messages on his phone from other people asking about it. He's like, oh, you're lucky you messaged when you did, yeah? I've been getting some amount of interest, right? And even though I knew he was just trying to get a sale, it did make me want the car more, which does make me think the next time I go on a date, I might try a similar tactic. <laughs> you know? A couple of drinks in, whip out my phone, show her my, all my other Tinder matches, like, you're lucky you messaged when you did, then. Because you're the only one that's got in touch. But <laughs> Bye. Bought that car, 1999 Renault Clio. Nothing but problems with it ever since, right? It was in the garage last week, and my mechanic phoned me up. He said, listen, Mark, we've got some bad news about the car. We're going to need to write it off. I said, why? What's wrong with it? He said, well, put it this way. The cost of the repair is worth more than the value of the car. I was like, how much is the repair? He says, about 50 quid. <laughs> It's like, just fix it, right? But it's a piece of shit, the Clio that I've got. Like, but this is how shit my car is, right? I parked it in the street the other day and I got a fine for littering. That's how shit <laughs> the car is. But the biggest problem I've got with the car, right? Biggest problem with the car is it's got a leaky sunroof, which I didn't know until one day I went for a car wash and nearly drowned. But <laughs> what happens now, right, is whenever it rains, water seeps through onto the seats and the floor and stuff. And, you know, when I first got a car, I did think it'd be a great way to try and like, attract girls, you know, but it's not very seductive. A girl steps in your car, you need to hand her a brolly, going, right, you hold this while I drive. <laughs> no matter what you've got on the tape player. Ah, it's got a tape player, right? It's an old car. <laughs> Obviously, I've got like a jack you plug into your iPhone. I'm not playing fucking cassette tapes. <laughs> like, eh, do you like the Lighthouse family? <laughs> if not, I've got Eiffel 65 on the other side. Anyone remember them? Eiffel 65? What was the name of the song? Blue I'm Blue, Abadie, Abadie. That's correct. Dabadie. Well, do you know what they said in Glasgow, mate? They used to say, I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. <laughs> very much split Glasgow in two in that song Stephen Gerrard will be fucking singing that shortly as well but that was, that was about the 90s mid 90s, that, that was actually about the same time in Glasgow right, that half of Glasgow refused to drink McEwen's Lager because he sponsored Rangers and the other half refused to drink it because it's fucking disgusting <laughs> but anyway, so I keep trying to get the sunroof resealed right, but whenever I do it, after a couple of days the car always ends up soaking again, like I feel like I'm the carer for some incontinent pensioner, just like feeling the damp seat oh no, not again! <laughs> Fuck's sake, Agnes! Agnes the name of my car by the way uh, 
Because what I've had to do, right, I've just bought a bath mat and I've put it down on the passenger side seat floor. And people come in and are like, is this a bath mat? I'm just like, shut up and hold the brolly for fuck's sake. <laughs> Trying to listen to Anne Blue Abadi Abadi here. Still going the clear, still going strong. And I was driving the other day, right? I was driving down the road. And there was a lot of traffic. I should have been concentrating. But there was an absolutely beautiful looking girl at the side of the road, right? And I couldn't help but turn and look at her. Because, you know, that is a big problem for guys. Like, see if you're a guy driving a car. It doesn't matter what is happening in front of you. Because you will turn your head every single time you see someone who you find attractive. Which is why drink driving is so dangerous. Because your standards get a lot lower. <laughs> Hey guys, that's my time. I've been Mark Jones. Thank you very much. Enjoy this. Your night. Cheers. <laughs>